What up, Tube? In the garage today. Just uh, gonna do a little bit of plumbing for some air valves. Um, I'm running two airbags in the back of that car, so I don't need a whole bunch of craziness going on. Um, since it's just two bags in the rear, I'm gonna run four valves, two per bag, and two switches. That way I can control either one inside individually. Um, what I'm gonna be using are some half inch SMC valves. I've had these here from another project. They work great. Um, I've been using SMCs for years and years. They're, they're a great company. They sell rebuild kits online for them. They're super easy to rebuild. Um, so I definitely recommend SMCs. Um, there are other companies and newer companies out there that do things um, and can, you can get valves that work super quick now, run higher PSIs. Um, these, I think, are 200 PSI valves. Um, they might be 180s, I'm not real sure, but since this is a simple setup, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. Like I said, two valves per bag, one up, one down. Today I'm just gonna show you how I do that plumbing. Um, I got some simple fittings here, some airline, some uh, push lock airline fittings for the in and the, the airline going in and out. It's real simple to use. Uh, back in the day, this stuff all sucked, but now it's much better. Um, I find that as long as you're not running over 200 PSI, um, these push lock fittings seem to work pretty pretty good and don't leak. So um, basically what, I've, what I do is real simple. We have one valve for up, one valve for down. So I take one of these T's and some fittings and I plumb my airline in. So your airline's gonna come into this fitting in this valve and in every valve that you get, if you look at it, there'll be a little arrow that dictates which way the air's flowing through the valve when it's open and when it's closed. So this setup here, I have one valve in. So my line will come in this side from my tank. When this opens, it'll go straight through to this side and onto my airbag. So that'll be my up. When it's ready to go down, you activate this valve that's on the second T and it will let the air out of just that bag and not the, the tank, because this one's closed. Um, so yeah, real simple setup. One up, one down, the airline in one side, out the other, from the tank on this side to the bag on this side. Um, so a little bit on how these fittings go together. Um, what I'm using is just some simple brass fittings. Um, you can get them at any at online or at an auto parts store. Or, I mean, fittings are hard to find nowadays. Don't go to Home Depot or the local hardware store and just pick up some brass plumbing fittings. Um, they are not the same. They're not made to withstand high PSI. Um, they're made for water um, and, and your kitchen, <laughs> you know, so don't be using those. But do get some good brass fittings. Um, like I said, I'm use, I'll, I'll have a two T's or a T for each section, real simple. So you just throw it, I usually use the vise, throw it in there. Um, we're gonna have one T in one side, and then the other, the, um, or one fitting in one side of the T, one fitting in the top of the T, and then on the opposite side is where you're going out to your bag. So I'll use one of these push lock fittings, so. Make sure you get your fittings nice and tight. Valves go on. Make sure you have the, the arrow pointed in the right direction. And like I said, most valves on the back side of them will have a tiny little arrow. I don't know if that focused or not but uh, showing which direction the air is going, so. Remember, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, tell your friends, tune in. I get in here a few times a week, try and do as many videos as I can. Next time we'll be doing some more uh, fabrication stuff, so um, stay tuned.